The opinions expressed in this show are the views of the host and not necessarily that of WTRW, 94.3 The Talker, or the Bold Gold Media Group. The following presentation is brought to you by the host of the program who is solely responsible for its content. Good afternoon. Welcome to Make a Change. I'm your host, Terry Martin, along with my producer, Tom Jenkins. Good afternoon, Terry. How are you? Well, I'm very good. How are you, Tom? Uh, I'm great, and I'm excited for what you have told me about this show today. Well, this show is, as we say, it's all about how to make a change. And before we begin, though, with saying who our wonderful guest is, I want to say how this came about. Because my guest, I talk about all the time, many times on my other shows, Mm -hmm. and if it wasn't for you, Tom... He wouldn't be coming on the For show. Me? Oh, Tell me. if I remember correctly, I uh, threw you under the bus and gave you a challenge many months ago because you were always talking about uh, uh, Raymond Francis and, and this book that saved your life. And I said, well, get him on the show. Yeah. And you you stepped up and, and I'm presuming it's Raymond Francis on the show today. Well, it was in my mind all along that I wanted to do that. But until you put me on the spot, yes, our guest today is... A famous, well-known author, Raymond Francis, and he's known for the bestseller Never Be Sick Again, along with several other books. But today he is going to tell us about his latest release, and it's Never Feel Old Again. And thank you so much, Raymond, for coming on the show. Well, thank you for inviting me. It's a delight to be here, and we're going to have some fun, and we're going to tell people things they don't know and they need to know. Well, even before we begin, uh, I want to tell you, Raymond, that several years ago, I was very sick in the hospital. I had to have blood transfusions. Everything that you can imagine was wrong. And someone came in to visit me and brought me your book, Never Be Sick Again. And it was, and I I already thought I knew about health. I thought I was eating right. I really thought I had the answers, but obviously I didn't. And when I read your book, I didn't, and I couldn't put it down because it was so easy to understand how to change my life. And so let's just go on and let you begin because I I didn't get you on the air to hear me because (laughs) you, I I just want you to just begin with telling us what aging is all about. Tell us about you. Well, you talk about sick. um, As you know, you read the book, you knew how sick I was, um, and that's why I ended up writing the book. Um, I almost died. My death was a medical certainty, uh, and I had to use my own knowledge of biochemistry to save my life, and and, and there was no life left. It was so much. It took me two years to restore myself where I could function again. Uh, but now I've devoted the remainder of my life to improving the health of the American people. And, uh, and I wrote Never Feel Old Again uh, for a very important reason. Um, here, here's the fact. The single largest problem facing the world in the 21st century is what we call global aging. By yes. 2050, there's going to be more old people in the world than young people. And this has never happened before. And the cost of supporting all of these old people is just unsustainable. The cost of disease is threatening to bankrupt the United States government, as well as all the industrialized nations. So we need to address this problem by teaching people how not to get old and how not to get sick. And I love we it. can do it. We can do it. Um, and here's why. Now, people say, well, isn't aging natural? Well, of course aging is natural. I mean, the, the planet is aging. You know, the universe is aging. The sun is aging. It's going to mm-hmm. burn out eventually. You know, mm-hmm. we're all aging. But the way we are aging is wrong. We, what we think of about aging, you know, think of aging. What do you think about? You think about loss of function. You think about disability. You think about diseases of aging, such as Alzheimer's and osteoporosis and arthritis and cancer. Um, Well, all of this is a big mistake. Mm -hmm. You don't have to lose function. You don't have to become disabled, and you don't have to develop diseases of aging like Alzheimer's and osteoporosis and arthritis. 
So that's the bottom line. We don't have to do this, and we can teach people how not to do it. Um, and everything I write in my, in my books is based on cutting-edge cellular biochemistry and molecular biology. And what I do is I take this complex science and I translate it into ordinary language that we teach to children. And, and it's very successful. So, uh, you, you know, it, w- what we're doing is we're trying to empower people because we've all been brainwashed. Uh, we, we think that aging and disease is something that just happens and that we have little control over it. The truth is we have enormous control over it. We don't have to get old the way we're doing it with the loss of quality of life, and you don't have to get sick. So um, these are all preventable, and we need to learn how to do it, and that's why I wrote Never Feel Old Again, because it tells you how to do it. Raymond, why do you think we're brainwashed? Because the, the media gives us a different message. Um, and, and the disease industry gives us a different message. You know, the, uh, Forbes magazine said the cost of disease this year, 2014, uh, is going to be about $3.8 trillion. Yeah, so it's an almost $4 trillion industry. Uh, and who wants to end a $4 trillion industry? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, so I'm out here, you know, shouting from the rooftops, but a uh, uh, few people know what they need to know, and that's that um, you can age very slowly, very gracefully, um, and the, the difference is the difference is between what we call your chronological age and your biological age. I'll give you an example. Uh, Chronologically, I'm going to be 78 in a few months. So I'm a 78-year-old. Biologically, I've got my arteries down to age 22. So, um, you know, we know cardiovascular disease is the biggest killer. And yet my probability of experiencing a heart attack or a stroke is that of a 22-year-old not a 78-year-old, and my goal is to have the arteries of a teenager by the time I'm 80 years old. Raymond. And anybody can do this. I, I got your book, and I read this part of it, and could you also tell us about the 10-year-olds, what they're facing well, right we're, now? we're accelerating the aging process. This is, this is what's so awful about it. We're accelerating the aging process so that we're actually measuring now 30-year-olds with the biological markers of 80. Now, here we can measure me, a 78-year-old, with a biological marker of 22. We're measuring 30-year-olds with biological markers of 80. Uh, A few years ago, we measured a group of overweight 10-year-olds with the biological markers of 45. I couldn't believe it. Wow. Yeah. 10-year-olds who are 45 years old biologically, how old are they going to be when they're 50? And this is the first generation of American children that will not live longer than their parents. Right, they won't make it. They won't make it because they're old. They're old. Teenagers need to read Never Feel Old Again. <laughs> they, they don't know it, mm-hmm. <laughs> but they do. Teenagers need to read Never Feel Old Again. In fact, parents should give their teenagers a copy of Never Feel Old Again. Uh, how old is your teenager? Um, Fifteen percent of our teens. So let's let's go to a high school basketball game and look at all those kids in there watching the basketball game. Fifteen percent of them have arteries that are already half blocked. Now these kids think they're teenagers. They think they're healthy. They think they're wonderful. Fifteen uh, percent of them already have arteries that are half blocked. Eighty percent of them already have the beginnings of heart disease. So this is not health. This is not health. And we have to stop doing this because we can no longer afford it. We're right. bank, the country is bankrupt. It's already, the United States is already bankrupt. We cannot pay our monthly bills. We borrow money and we print money to pay our monthly bills. We're already bankrupt, and it's getting worse every day. 10,000 Americans are retiring every single day. 10,000 Americans, and we have to pay them Social Security, we have to pay for their health care, and there's no money to do it. Uh, So we're destroying the country, uh, and every industrialized country is in the same 
uh, situation. We're all going to go bankrupt at the same time, and it's going to be catastrophic. So what do we have to do? Here's the win-win situation. Stop getting sick. Stop getting old. Um, you have to start lowering your biological age. And, and the result is fabulous. I mean, here I am. I'm a 78-year-old. I feel like I'm in my 20s. Mm-hmm. I bounce out of bed in the morning. Like I pop out of bed like a piece of toast. Boom. You know? <laughs> and, and, and I have boundless energy. Boundless I never get sick. In the past 28 years, I've had two health problems. Try and find a 28-year-old who's had two health problems in 28 years. Uh, mm-hmm. Two health problems, my two health problems were I had two colds. Mm-hmm. And I have a good excuse for each cold, because having a cold is inexcusable. There's no reason to have it. And the worst thing is that you never recover from it. A cold does permanent damage to your DNA and makes you older and makes you sicker. So every time you have a cold, you get older. You don't want to do that. Uh, you want to get younger, not older. Well, that cold is our warning. We, we really better do something. But one thing that uh, you talked to, hit on this a little bit earlier was people believe, this is in your book, people believe that disease is a random event, that it can happen to anyone. And what I see, that it's almost like they do fear that it's going to strike them. They just don't know when. Yeah. They, if, yeah. The yeah. commercials let them yeah. know it, that. It's, um, it, it's a meteorite that falls out of the sky and hits you over the head. <laughs> you know, boom. Right. Or a bolt of lightning. Boom. But, right, yeah. with no responsibility that it's happening because of the choices they're making every day. Right, and we don't want anybody to know that because we want them to continue to make the wrong choices yeah. <laughs> and sell the wrong products. Um, but it's all about choice. We have control over this process. Um, aging is an avoidable mistake. An avoidable mistake. But very few of us know that. Very few of us know what to do to prevent these diseases of aging and to prevent the accelerated aging that we're, we're experiencing. You now, the average American male dies at age 75. 75 is not old age. Uh, when you look at traditionally, uh, you know, traditional societies where people live to be 120 on average, uh, and they did that in perfect health. Uh, so um, 75 is really, really young. Uh, but that's, that's what we're doing. Uh, so uh, we can end this epidemic of chronic disease, but you have to learn how to do it. Aging is a mistake. Um, and, and uh, you know, it's not how old you are or how sick you are. It, it, it's what you're doing. It's the choices you make every day that determine how old you are or how sick you are. Uh, so, uh, th- th- and that's empowering because you can change the choices you're making, change your biochemistry, and become biologically younger. Uh, and you can cure disease. I, I'm, people who have bought my book, uh, Never Fear Cancer Again, uh, we get letters and emails all the time. People with terminal cancer go home and cure their cancer. You buy a book for 14.95, you go home and cure terminal cancer. It can't be that difficult. <laughs> no. Well, Raymond, in your book, what really helped me a lot to understand how they got the statistics on infant mortality rate and where they're coming up with the longevity. Maybe you could explain that because I, I think we've been disillusioned a little bit over where those statistics came from. Well, we're, we're, yeah, we're misinformed. Um, they don't want us to know the truth. Um, the cancer statistics are, are false. The, uh, and, and they're telling us we're living longer than ever. Uh, wrong. That's a lie. <laughs> and, right. uh, uh, you know, it's, um, we're not living longer. Uh, the average person now is living about a year and two or three months longer than they did 100 years ago. Well, what I understood that to be was because the infants, uh, most children many years ago only lived, or a lot lot died before 14 years of age. Most most children died. So what what they talk about is average life expectancy. So if you have two people in a population, one is an infant who dies after one day of life, and another is a person that lives to be 100 years old, well, average life expectancy is 50. And if we improve the, the length of the, of the infant's living, then average life expectancy goes up. 
Um, so if the infant then dies at, um, at age 50 and the other person dies at age 100, now average life expectancy is 75. And that's almost the entire increase in life expectancy has been the result of a decrease in infant mortality, not really an increase in the length of life for the adult. Right. Uh, you know, Moses died at age 120. Uh, um, uh, Pharaoh Ramses II died at age like 94. Uh, you know, are we living longer? Uh, no, no. Uh, so it's a myth. And then the cancer uh, survival statistics are a complete myth. Um, the cancer survival rate today is exactly the same as it was in 1950. No progress has been made, despite trillions, hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars in, uh, spent on, on cancer research and trillions of dollars on, on, on cancer care. Uh, the survival rate today is the same as it was in 1950, because what we're using is silly. I mean, uh, chemotherapy and radiation and, and surgery do not cure cancer. So, you know, it doesn't work. Right, because they're not finding the cause. That's right. They're not addressing the cause. So that's why I wrote my book, Never Fear Cancer Again, because Never Fear Cancer Again tells you what cancer is, how it's caused, and how you can prevent it, and how you can reverse it. It's real simple. And it's so simple that literally, I, you know, people buy the book and go home and cure terminal cancer. I, I was just lecturing a few weeks ago at a, at a public library here in Florida, uh, and, um, and, a, and a man stood up afterwards and he said, you know, I came here today so that I could see you in person. He said, I had terminal melanoma, and they told me nothing could save me, and I was going to die, and I bought your book, and my cancer is completely gone. They can't find a thing. And thank you, thank you, God bless you, God bless you. So uh, it's not that difficult. Anybody could do it. Well, this is a great spot, Raymond, to take a quick little break. We want to hear a little bit more about that when we come back. This is Make a Change with your host, Terry Martin. I am Tom Jenkins on 94.3 FM, The Talker, and our special guest today, author of Never Feel Old Again, Raymond Francis, and we will be back right after this. Confidence. It's something we all search for. It's something we all strive for. When we're confident, we feel we can accomplish anything. I mean, think about it. When you knew you looked good, you walked with your head held a little higher. Looking people in the eye was easy. You felt like you could tackle the world. The first step in finding that confidence is obviously how you look. And when you look good on the outside, you feel good on the inside. Get that confidence you need with Madari Clinicals. They are a unique skincare company that specializes in complete skincare for women and men. From anti-aging to glycolic and even a special clinical line for sensitive skin, Madari Clinicals gives you that confidence. Make that change. Look brand new. Feel brand new with Madari Clinicals. Check out MadariClinicals.com. That's M-E-D-E-R-I Clinicals.com. Or call 866-646-3374. Take on the world with Madari Clinicals. Welcome back to Make a Change on 94.3 FM, The Talker. I am Tom Jenkins, along with your host, Terry Martin, and our special guest today, author Raymond Francis from Never Feel Old Again. Raymond, how would somebody get this book if they wanted to read it? Oh, they can go to uh, you know a bookstore or Amazon.com, or they can go to my website, uh, BeyondHealth.com. Um, and if you'd like an autographed book to, uh, to give as a gift, um, uh, they're available at beyondhealth.com. But Amazon.com is, uh, is a common place that people buy it, and, uh, and it's also available in bookstores. Awesome. We were talking in the last segment about the accelerated aging process that, uh, you know, 10-year-olds now are showing biological age of 45-year-olds. Why is this happening? Well, um, the, the, uh, all, all of our, you know, we have this enormous, unprecedented epidemic of, of chronic degenerative disease. Um, this epidemic did not exist historically. Um, cancer was a rare disease. Heart disease was a rare disease. Um, you know, diabetes didn't exist. You know? mm -hmm. uh, all these things um, that we've invented, and, and, and here's why. In a very, very short period of time, uh, historically speaking, and really in the last hundred years, but maybe the last two hundred years as well, but especially in the last hundred years, we have fundamentally changed our diet. 
we have fundamentally changed our environment and we have fundamentally changed our lifestyle. You cannot make that many fundamental changes without affecting the biology of the organism. And this is what we've done. Uh, and, um, and we have fundamentally changed our biology in a, in a negative way. And this is why we're seeing this epidemic of disease, why we're doing the accelerated aging process. Uh, but then you have to step back and say, well, whoa, wait a minute, you know, we've made all these changes. Uh, we can't go back to living in caves and walking everywhere, with, you know, and living, living the lifestyle of primitive man. Right. Uh, and uh, even if we could, I don't think most of us would not want to. So <laughs> I certainly wouldn't. <laughs> I enjoy the modern world. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I like indoor plumbing. <laughs> you know, and, uh, uh, so what we can do, however, is we can make, we can compensate. If you understand what the changes are, then you can do some simple things to help you to compensate for those changes so that they don't have the effect on you that, that they would normally have. Uh, and that's what my books are about. It te- it's teaching people how to make different choices to compensate. Um, and you know what? What kind of food do you you know? If you, if you're going to eat um, uh, some rice, uh, why not eat brown rice instead of white rice because it's got more nutrition in it? Um, why not eat a, a yam instead of a, a, a regular potato because the yam has more nutrition in it? Um, so why not eat organic foods as opposed to non-organic foods because the organic foods have more nutrition? So these are choices that anybody can do on a daily basis if they know what to do. Uh, And uh, change your brand of toothpaste because toothpaste is very toxic and it poisons you. Uh, Change your brand of shampoo because shampoo also contains a lot of toxic chemicals. They go through the skin and the scalp and they get get into your bloodstream and they poison your body. uh, you know, what kind of carpet are you going to buy for your home? Synthetic carpets, outgas, lots of toxic chemicals. So don't do that. But if you know what to do, you can make some very simple changes that will greatly enhance your biochemistry uh, and enhance your longevity and, 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 and not cause disease. Well, you talk about the six pathways to health and the two, like the toxicity, malnutrition, and, and right. I, I don't know if you want to explain that to well, us. Well, what I do in, in my books is I try to give people a, a simple concept that they can put to work in their life. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a graduate of MIT. I'm, I'm a highly trained scientist. Uh, I can understand things that other people who don't have my training can't understand. So what, we, what I try to do is make it simple, give you a simple road map. Uh, and I've simplified it. Um, the World Health Organization says there's over 12,000 different diseases. Well, I've reduced that to one disease. I mean, who can cope with 12,000 diseases? And the answer is nobody. That's very overwhelming. <laughs> it's overwhelming. And that's why we have so many specialists, and even they can't cope with it. So and that's why Raymond simplified it. Thank goodness. I simplified it. <laughs> um, and down to one disease. And that one disease is a malfunctioning cell. We're all made of these little microscopic units of life called cells. We all started life as one single cell in our mother, and now we're made of tens of trillions of cells. Well, guess what? If you can keep one cell functioning normally, um, then that cell will be healthy. So if you can learn how to keep one cell functioning normally, you can keep your whole body functioning normally, and your whole body will be healthy. So there's only one disease, a cell that isn't working right. So there's no such thing as arthritis or cancer or diabetes or or, or any other disease. All there is is cells that work the way they're supposed to work and cells that don't work the way they're supposed to work. That's it. Um, And when they don't work the way they're supposed to work, you can exhibit thousands of different symptoms. And then our physicians confuse themselves and think that the thousands of different symptoms are different diseases. Right, because everything's connected. Impossible. Right, exactly. There are not thousands of diseases. There's one disease. 
either all your cells are working right or they're not. It's, you know, how can you get more simple? <laughs> and, and cells malfunction for only two reasons. Um, they're either not getting what they need to function properly. We call that deficiency. Or they're getting something that is interfering with their normal function, and we call that toxicity. So there's one disease with two causes, deficiency and toxicity. So you can learn how to keep yourself healthy by continually addressing the issues of deficiency and toxicity. Eat a good diet. Take a good supplement program. Avoid toxins. So uh, give your cells what they need. Keep them free of things they don't need, and your cells will operate normally, and you will be healthy. And this will keep you young because the cells will be self-repairing. Um, and, and we'll get into that. I think we should talk about, you know, how do you keep your body in, in good repair because that's what it's really all about. Well, that's what I was just about to ask you. You were talking about, you know, the, the healthy cells and the non-healthy cells. Will these non-healthy cells repair themselves or will the, yes, healthy, the healthy cells will replace the non-healthy cells if you do what you're supposed to do? Yes, indeed. Awesome. Um, and that is the secret. So, folks, listen up real carefully. Here's the secret. The body is a self-repairing system. That's the secret. Thank God. Your car is not self-repairing. You put wear and tear on the car every day. You put wear and tear on the tires, on the brakes, on the fan belts, on the air transmission, on the engine. Yeah. We put wear and tear on the car every day. It does not repair itself. You have to keep it in good repair. Now, you can go to a car show. You can see a car that's 100 years old. Looks like new, runs like new. You can go out onto the street, see a car that's 10 years old, it's ready for the junkyard. What's the difference? The difference is in the maintenance, how it has been maintained. Your body is no different, except your body is a self-repairing system. You don't have to take it to the garage. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we put wear and tear on the body during the day, when you go to sleep at night, that wear and tear is repaired so that your tires are as good as new in the morning and, and your transmission and your engine, everything is as good as new in the morning because you've repaired it overnight. And so if you do this, you will keep young and, uh, and you will not be sick. Your cells will be functioning normally, and you will keep your body in good repair. Well, here I am, 78. How come my arteries are 22? I've been repairing them. You make, we all make, about 10 million new cells every second of every day. Isn't that amazing? 10 million new cells every second. Yes. I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> you know, in the course of a day, you'll make about 800 billion new cells. That's a lot of new cells. And those cells are replacing old cells. So you're in constantly, constantly repairing and renewing. So your body is constantly renewing itself. It's a self-repairing system. Now, here's the problem. Most of us are no longer self-repairing. Why, why do we have these 10-year-olds these who are 45 years old. They're not self-repairing. They put wear and tear on their body every day, and every day they get older and older and older. Why are we measuring 30-year-olds with the biological markers of 80? Because every day they put wear and tear on their body, and they're not repairing it, and so they're getting older and older and older. You know the sad part? We're doing it to ourselves. If someone right. came in to our country and tried to hurt us, we'd be mad about it, but we're hurting our very own selves. Absolutely. And we're hurting the rest of the world by exporting our lifestyle and our diet. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so, in fact, I'm, I, I've been invited by the royal family of Qatar to, uh, to go lecture in Qatar uh, because they've been importing our diet and lifestyle and they're getting sick. Yeah. And so uh, we have to stop that. But nonetheless, we can teach people how to stay well and you need to keep your body in the repair mode. And if you're not in the repair mode, you need to shift back into the repair mode. You know, so, go ahead. Raymond, before we leave that, with you talking about the car, I love how you compared if you don't take care of your car, it's going to be in the junkyard. If you don't take care of your body, we'll be in a nursing home. 
Take yeah. our pick. We don't have to be there. I loved right. it. Okay. Right. And uh, you go into any nursing home and you see people barely moving, you know, with walkers in wheelchairs. Um, what are you looking at? You're looking at repair deficits. If they were fully repaired, they'd be running around playing tennis. Uh, I have a friend of mine who's uh, 86 years old, um, and last winter he was skiing in the Alps. And then he came back home here and he went skiing in Aspen. Um, He's 86 years old. He's on ski vacations. Mm -hmm. He's in good repair. Go to a nursing home, see another 86-year-old who's barely functioning. You're looking at repair deficits. This is what disease is about. This is what aging is about. It's about repair deficits. So you have to learn to keep your body in good repair. Well, how do you do that? <laughs> that's that's a perfect opportunity to say, sit tight. we got to take one more break. Well, actually two more, but right now we're just going to take one quick break. We come back. We want to find out how to do that if you're willing to, to share that with us. We're speaking with Raymond Francis, author of Never Feel Old Again, with some amazing, simple ideas of what we can do to to fix ourselves, to make the change. And this is Make a Change with your host, Terry Martin. I am Tom Jenkins on 94.3 FM The Talker. We'll be right back. Confidence. It's something we all search for. It's something we all strive for. When we're confident, we feel we can accomplish anything. I mean, think about it. When you knew you looked good, You walked with your head held a little higher. Looking people in the eye was easy. You felt like you could tackle the world. The first step in finding that confidence is obviously how you look. And when you look good on the outside, you feel good on the inside. Get that confidence you need with Medary Clinicals. They are a unique skincare company that specializes in complete skincare for women and men. From anti-aging to glycolic and even a special clinical line for sensitive skin, Medary Clinicals gives you that confidence. Make that change. Look brand new. Feel brand new with Medary Clinicals. Check out MedaryClinicals.com. That's M-E-D-E-R-I Clinicals.com or call 866-646-3374. Take on the world with Medary Clinicals. Welcome back to Make a Change on 94.3 FM, The Talker, with your host, Terry Martin. I am Tom Jenkins, and our special guest on the phone with us today is Raymond Francis, author of Never Feel Old Again, and many other books with the word never in it, a very powerful word. And, And what we've been talking about with Raymond is more or less the one illness that we all suffer from <laughs> if we suffer from anything and that is the the cell de- de- degeneration yes i was thinking regeneration but that's mm-hmm. our goal is to regenerate the cells and we were just about to to begin talking about how we can do that how do we get those dead cells out of there those bad cells and keep the good ones overpowering the bad ones so our bodies can do its job right and that's that's all about how do you keep your body in the repair mode so that you are producing those 10 million new cells every second. And most importantly, that those new cells be better than the ones they're replacing. So if you want to get younger, if you want to get healthy, if you're sick and you want to get healthy, if you're old and you want to get younger, um, every new cell has to be better than the one it's replacing. And if you do that, that's how I've you know, reduce the age of my arteries. There again, 78, my arteries are 22. How do you do that? Every new cell is better than the one it's replacing. Well, how do you, how do you make cells better than the one that's replacing? Well, uh, when you're producing a new cell, um, you, know, the, you have a blueprint of, of how to make it. Now, so let's, let's say you, um, you have a, a, you know, a blueprint for how to build a house. Uh, if you want to build a good house, you have to do it according to the blueprints. You have to use the right kind of lumber. You have to use the right kind of siding. Um, uh, let's say that um, you, you know you want to build your house with high quality exterior grade plywood, but all you have available today is cardboard. Well, if you build your house out of cardboard, the first big windstorm that comes along, you're not going to do too well. And it's the same thing with your cells. 
they have a list of building materials that is needed to produce a high-quality cell. If you don't have that list of building materials available when you're making the cell, you're going to make a defective cell. So that cell will not work right from the moment it's created, and it will only get worse with time. So the, the secret here is to create a healthy cell in the first place by giving it all of the raw materials it needs to construct a healthy cell, to construct a strong house. You want your, your cells to be strong so that they can weather all kinds of storms. You want your house to be strong so it can weather all kinds of storms. It's the same thing. You have to build it correctly in the first place. Uh, and we have a grocery list of building materials that you must supply every day in order to construct the cells properly. Here's the problem. The average American is deficient in at least several critical building materials. So if you're deficient in critical building materials, every cell you make will not be a good, healthy cell. And sometimes we'll be making cells that are even worse than the ones they're replacing. And that means you're just going to get sicker and sicker and sicker if you replace existing cells with cells that are worse than the ones you're replacing. What you want is to replace those cells with better cells that work better. So that's, that's what you know, the repair mode is all about. And you have to, uh, the two things, you have to supply the grocery list. And there's oh, roughly about 60 what we call essential nutrients that we know about. You have to supply those essential nutrients. Uh, one of those essential nutrients is a, a class of oils called omega-3 fatty acids. More than 90% of the American population is deficient in omega-3 fatty acids. So, uh, you know, how can you build healthy cells when one of the most important building materials of the cells, more than 90% of us are deficient? That's why we're sick. That's why we're old. We're not supplying the necessary building materials to make the cell. Now, you were calling this a grocery list. That's actually not uh, a, a euphemism. That's an actual fact. That's a grocery list. Go to the grocery store, correct? Um, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, uh, your, your cell has the list, and you have to make the list to go to the store to get it. <laughs> and, so, and we're not doing that. It's not in our food supply. So we have to compensate. We have to supplement. Um, most Americans are deficient in magnesium. You have to supplement. Most Americans are deficient in zinc. You have to supplement. Uh, so you not only have to eat a good diet, you have to supplement to get the building materials you need. Um, and why is that? Well, the soils are depleted. We've depleted the soils of the minerals. So, you know, take a carrot. We all know what a carrot is, uh, except for the fact you don't. People go to the store, they think they're buying a carrot. They're not. You've got to eat 20 of those carrots that you're buying now to equal the amount of zinc you got in one carrot just 50 years ago. Who's eating the 50 carrots? <laughs> Not even my kids. <laughs> they love carrots. Not even your kid, right. <laughs> and, and you've got to eat four of those carrots to get the same amount of magnesium you got in one carrot 50 years ago. And this is right across the board. The soils have been depleted of minerals, so you must supplement, and you must know what to supplement with. Uh, and you must take supplements that actually work. Most of them don't. <laughs> so uh, you're into that problem as well. Uh, but nonetheless, here you are. You're building your cell. You're lacking critical building materials. So you're producing cells that are not fully functional, that are not as healthy as they should be. And so you're not as healthy as you should be. Uh, and you deteriorate. You challenge those cells with anything, and they're, they're not going to work right. Um, uh, and that's why you can get an infection. I mean, if you're healthy, you don't get infections. I mean, uh, I've had two colds in 28 years, and I have good excuses for both colds. There's no excuse for having a cold because if your cells are healthy, they will not become infected. They will, they will just, viruses will just bounce off of them.
What are those excuses? <laughs> Your poor choices. <laughs> the poor choices. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I, oh, I love my ice cream. Oh, I, you know, got to have this. Or, um, and I was lecturing last night, actually, and, uh, and there was a lady that said uh, that she wouldn't. She's not going to give up her cake. Well, that's okay, but you know, she's had three cancer operations mm. and she needs a knee replacement, but mm. she's not going to give up her cake. Uh, okay, <laughs> well, Raymond. In your book, I wrote one of your quotes, and you said your body either rewards you, which is true. Or it punishes you. I never heard it say it. I've never heard it said that way because of our lack of the proper care. I, I thought that was well, it, a great statement. Right. And uh, the body is, is, is a magnificent. I mean, I don't know how anybody could invent the human body. I mean, it's, it's God's work. Mm-hmm. It's magnificent. And it's, it's just awesome. Um, and it's, it's, it's designed to last for a very long time. Well into your hundreds. Uh, we don't know how how long. Um, <clears throat> biology journals say life expectancy exceeds 135. Um, it's very, very evident that you can easily live to 150. Um, there have been people who have lived as long as uh, over 200. Um, the, the longest I ever found in all of my research was a man in China who lived to be about 240. Really? Um, so what are human beings truly capable of? The average age of death in America is 78. <laughs> you know, we're, we're killing ourselves is what we're doing, and, and we're all sick. Um, more than three out of four Americans have a diagnosable chronic disease. If you're over age 60, more than 90% of you have a, a, a diagnosable chronic disease. Um, it's not supposed, and we think, well, this is normal. This is normal because you look around, you see everybody's suffering these things. So you say, well, okay, well, this is normal. Mm-hmm. It may be normal for us, but it's not natural for a human being. <laughs> We're designed to live a very long, disease-free life. And when you look at uh, the traditional pockets of people like the Hunza and the, 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 the Titicaca and the Vilcabamba, um, they all live to an average age of 120 without being sick. And that's the way to go. They, you know, I, in, in my book, um, and Never Be Sick Again, I talk about Jose Rua, who was interviewed by medical researchers at age 131. Mm-hmm. Um, and at 131, he was still working his farm every day. Mm-hmm. He had fathered his lost child at, a, at 107. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, it's, uh, you know, he, and they asked him if he'd ever been sick, and he said, oh, yes, he had been sick. He had had a, a couple of colds. Well, he had a couple of colds in 131 years, not in one year, <laughs> See, like we do. <laughs> we have a couple a year. He had a couple in 131 years. But then I read that, and I said, oh, my gosh, uh, you know, this man's had colds. He must be very sick, and, uh, and he's not going to last long. And, and sure enough, he didn't last long. He died at 137. <laughs> you know, you say uh, there was a question that I wanted to ask you about getting rid of aches and pains. So changing our life is definitely going to help alleviate this without all the medicines. Yes, yes, yes. yes because aches and pains are caused by malfunctioning cells. All problems are caused by malfunctioning cells. So either your cells are working the way they're supposed to or they're not. Uh, and that can manifest as aches and pains. It can manifest as what we call cancer. It can manifest as uh, rheumatoid arthritis. It can manifest as anything, but it's all the same thing. In order for you to feel pain or to be sick, cells must malfunction. And cells malfunction for only two reasons. They're not getting what they need or they're getting something they don't need. Uh, and that's part of the problem. If you want to stay young, you have to keep yourself in the repair mode. So you have to give your cells what they need. But here's the other half of the equation. You have repair machinery that do the repairs. And you can disable the repair machinery. So even if you, you give yourself all the raw materials you need to do the repairs, if the repair machinery is broken... Uh, or disabled, it's not going to happen. And, uh, and we are doing this with toxins. Um, 
Toxins disable the repair machinery. Uh, and the average American today is a toxic dump waste site. We're toxic dumps. Mm-hmm. The average American is bioaccumulating hundreds of toxic chemicals in their body. Many of those chemicals are now at the same levels that we know cause disease in animals. So um, this is uh, pretty serious stuff. We, we, we are all toxic, and we have to stop doing this. So you have to do three things uh, with the toxins. One, stop putting the toxins in. You know, learn where the toxins are. And I have a whole chapter in all my books on where the toxins are so that you can learn to avoid them. And as I mentioned before, toothpaste is a, uh, you know, a very common one. Uh, most people use toothpaste every day. Um, your usual toothpaste is extremely toxic and it poisons your body every day. So uh, choose a healthy brand of toothpaste. Uh, that's simple to do. So we can make simple choices that um, uh, will enable us to reduce our toxic load, learn where the toxins are, reduce your toxic load by organic foods, because the ones that are not organic are sprayed with pesticides. You're putting toxins into your body. Filter your water. I even had designed a a reverse osmosis system that I sell on my website um, to take the fluoride out of your water because fluoride is a toxin and it poisons you. Uh, And fluoride um, damages your brain, it damages your bones, damages your teeth, um, causes cancer. Very, very deadly substance. So learn where the toxins are, get them out of your life. Then the next thing is support your body's detoxification system by eating a good diet and taking good supplements because the the D, if you present a molecule to the body that needs to be detoxified, uh, it needs a lot of other molecules that you must get from your diet to detoxify it. And if they're not there, that molecule stays and poisons you. So, um, you know, there, there you have it. You give your cells what they need, protect them from things that can damage their machinery, and then you will be in the repair mode. And when you do this, you can't get sick and you don't get old. You stay biologically younger than your chronological years. And so um, up until the time you die from old age, you are fully functional and feel fabulous. I feel fabulous. I just, I can't tell you how wonderful I feel. <laughs> and, and every day, what a joy it is to be, you know. It's, uh, it's great. Anybody can do this, but you need to keep yourself in the repair mode to do it. We got to take one more quick break, Raymond. Uh, we're speaking with Raymond Francis, author of Never Feel Old Again on Make a Change on 94.3 FM, The Talker. We will be right back. Confidence. It's something we all search for. It's something we all strive for. When we're confident, we feel we can accomplish anything. I mean, think about it. When you knew you looked good, you walked with your head held a little higher. Looking people in the eye was easy. You felt like you could tackle the world. The first step in finding that confidence is obviously how you look. And when you look good on the outside, you feel good on the inside. Get that confidence you need with Medary Clinicals. They are a unique skincare company that specializes in complete skincare for women and men. From anti-aging to glycolic and even a special clinical line for sensitive skin, Medary Clinicals gives you that confidence. Make that change. Look brand new. Feel brand new with Medary Clinicals. Check out MedariClinicals.com. That's M-E-D-E-R-I Clinicals.com. Or call 866-646-3374. Take on the world with Medary Clinicals. Welcome back to Make a Change on 94.3 FM The Talker. I am Tom Jenkins, along with your host, Terry Martin. And we're speaking with uh, an author today, Never Feel Old Again, Never Be Sick Again, Never Get Cancer. I mean, just phenomenal ideas. And and what I love uh, with Raymond Francis, what we've been talking about is the simplicity of it all. And we just need to take the responsibility ourselves on, on to not get sick, not feel old, not get old internally, externally, chronologically, I think, as you said, Raymond, we can't change that. But we can definitely change the internal part. And you had talked about giving the body, giving the cells what they need to regenerate and make bigger and even better cells. So technically, we're getting younger. 
You, right. had, you had mentioned supplements. We have to supplement because the soil has depleted. Why, exactly. why? Why? I mean, I'm just curious on that because I have a beautiful garden in my backyard and I thought I had some pretty darn good soil in there. But if it's all depleted, you know, how come? Well, actually, you may have good soil in your backyard. Um, it's the commercial farming where we oh. grow the same crop in the in the same soil year after year. After okay, year. what we're buying in the store, um, right? But and we okay. yeah we don't uh, and we don't uh, give it proper fertilizer. Uh, we deplete those soils of of minerals, and then the plants are unhealthy, and then you eat unhealthy plants, and then you're unhealthy. Uh, and that's why organic farming, um, uh, organic produce, has more nutrition in it because it's not being grown in those depleted soils. Uh, so very, very important. So your garden is great. And, and indeed, uh, if, if, you know, if you can have a garden, uh, it's, it's really a good way to go. Um, but the commercial farming, and then, of course, you have the problem of uh, premature harvesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, most of the nutrition goes in in the last 24 to 48 hours. And so um, if, you're, if you're harvesting early so that you can ship it without it turning rotten, uh, you're losing up to 80% of the nutrition right there. And then the nutrition starts to go within a few hours of harvesting. Um, so after about two days, uh, you and a lot of nutrients are half gone mm-hmm. after two days. Well, the average age of produce in the supermarket is two weeks. Wow. Um, the average apple is 10 months. and You can <sighs> easily get an apple that's two years. Uh, what are you eating? Uh, it's it's garbage. You know, it's it's an apple shaped um, piece of garbage, <laughs> and there's no food. It the, the nutrition's gone, right? Um, as well as the taste, by the way. But um, in any event, um, the National Academy of Sciences have looked at this, and um, and it doesn't get any more prestigious than the National Academy, and they say that um, it is now absolutely necessary to supplement. That it is now physically impossible to get what your body needs, even if you eat a good diet. I'm I'm glad you brought that up because you had mentioned supplements earlier and you said, you know, some work, some don't. How do we know? Uh, Not easy. You need to be a chemist. And and, and I've studied vitamin chemistry now for the last 25 years. And and I'm one of the country's experts in, in how to put a vitamin pill together and make it work. And and I've actually designed my own vitamins, uh, the Beyond Health brand of, of vitamins. Uh, and so what's wrong with, with most vitamins? Well, let's talk about a multivitamin. First of all, studies show that about 42% of all multivitamins do not dissolve soon enough to be of use to the body. <laughs> so you're, you're paying a dollar to buy a pill, and it does you no good at all. That's a very, very expensive pill. No kidding. Uh, and, uh, and then the ones that do dissolve don't necessarily do you much good either because the ingredients are cheap and uh, they, don't, they are not biologically active in the body. Uh, and I'll give you a specific example. Uh, about 90% of all supplements that contain vitamin B12 will contain the B12 in a form called cyanocobalamin. Cyanocobalamin is a very poor source of B12 because it's a man-made molecule. It's not a natural molecule. The body doesn't know what to do with it. So maybe you get about 10%, 15% of the B12 that that it says on the label. But worse, uh, the cyano part of the molecule breaks off into cyanide. Now, it's only a small amount of cyanide, but if you take these pills every day, the cyanide will build up in your tissues and poison your tissues. So there's only two causes of disease, deficiency and toxicity, and the cyanide is toxic to the cells, and it will ultimately make you sick. Um, the, um, you know, uh, vitamin, vitamin uh, B2, you know, is uh, uh, you, 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 can, you can take biologically active forms and put it in the pill, or you can take forms that are not biologically active that have to be transformed. And that's what most, most vitamin pills are made of things, uh, molecules that the body has to take and transform into the biologically active molecule. Well, that's okay, not necessarily bad, but um, it, it 
it, it requires you to the the end. The body has to spend energy. It has to spend you know, has to have other raw materials to make the conversion. And if you're sick, that that your ability to convert uh, may already be compromised. So you take the pill, but it's not doing you any good because you can't make the conversion. Mm-hmm. So a good vitamin um, uses the molecules that are biologically correct so that the body can immediately use them. It doesn't have to do any work. It doesn't have to spend anything to use them. It immediately gets them and uses them. Uh, and, and, that's, and if you're sick and you can't make the conversion, uh, see, now you're getting the vitamin and, and it's making you well. So um, this is how you, you produce good vitamin pills is you use biologically active molecules. The problem is the biologically active molecules cost more. And uh, and so you have to charge more for the pills. So people go to the store Quality. and say, "Oh well, this this one costs ten bucks, and this one costs thirty. I'll buy the one that costs ten. The problem is the one that costs ten doesn't do you any good. <laughs> you get what you pay for. Get what you pay for. And so beyondhealth.com. If people are interested in getting um, some of the top vitamins in the world, uh, beyondhealth.com, and the the brand is Beyond Health. And I designed all of these. Um, and I'm, I'm one of the, the top experts in the country in, in designing vitamin pills that work. Raymond, before you leave, though, and our time is almost up, you, I wanted to ask you this question, how to look and feel 10 years younger in one year. How is that possible? Real easy. Uh, shift back into the repair mode, and when you do that, you can literally become the best I've ever done. I made one man 20 years younger in one year. But 10 years younger is real easy. So start giving your cells what they need. Stop giving them things they don't need. Get on a good supplement program to make up for what you're not getting in your diet. You can shift your cells back into repair mode and literally in one year's time be 10 years younger biologically uh, because the body is always producing those new cells. And when every new cell is better than the one it's replacing, you get younger. And feel better. And I know I am living proof of that. And that's why I wanted you on my show, because I can see those differences. I can feel those differences. And I know that it's possible to reverse your aging. Only I want to reverse it more. So I'm going to try harder. (laughs) We've been speaking with author Raymond Francis of Never Feel Old Again. Terry, I need to borrow that book and never get sick again. So bring that in next week, please. I want to borrow and read those. Okay. Uh, Raymond, thank you so much. What did we forget? What do we forget to ask you today? Well, um, a million things. So we should come back again. <laughs> uh, talk about things like vaccinations. Talk about things like x-rays. Talk about, you know, um, uh, there's, there's so much to talk about. Talk about things like prescription drugs. You know, what, what are we doing wrong in, in medicine? And the answer is almost everything. Well, Raymond, I have gone to, uh, on, the, on the website, I found you. I've listened, and anyone can listen to you yes. right now. I mean, absolutely. Maybe you could tell uh, them on, how to do I'm that. I'm on YouTube. I'm all over YouTube. Uh, I'm, I'm at BeyondHealth.com with with all kinds of articles and and you know it's it's uh, RaymondFrancisAuthor.com. Uh, so plenty of information available, and the books are available everywhere. Everyone, everyone, you know, buy buy a copy of Never Feel Old Again for your teenager because they're already old and they need to start getting younger. It, one other thing I want to say, I, I have to, you know what this, you know what this book does? It gives us hope because there is hope. And I think many people have lost that. Well, it empowers you because it, it tells you what to do and, and, and it's the right thing and it works. So that's power. Absolutely. Author Raymond Francis, Never Feel Old Again. You can get his book on uh, Amazon.com. You can also check out BeyondHealth.com. Just do a Google search for Raymond Francis. And of course, if you have any questions for Terry, you can give her a call at 866-646-3374. And his books will be at my office, too. Oh, you're going to sell yes. the books? At, okay, perfect. So give Terry a shout there. Uh, or check out MedariClinicals.com. Raymond, thank you so much for being yes, on the show with you. us today. We really An appreciate it. An honor and a pleasure. Thank you so much for inviting me. This is Make a Change with your host, Terry Martin. I am Tom Jenkins on 94.3 FM, The Talker. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll chat again with you next week. The new Radio Bold app for iPhone and Android. 
Download it now and hear all of your favorite stations and formats. Rock. Country. Classic hits. Top 40. News. Sports. Look back into the station playlist. Play videos of your favorite songs. Get artist bios, album artwork, song lyrics. Share station and artist information with your friends. Have it all in the palm of your hands. The biggest thing to happen in radio. Well, since radio. Learn more at RadioBold.com.